Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? What's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this very shimmery, very glam makeup look. Today we're gonna focus on the eyes and we're gonna play with the eyeshadows from this Urban Decay Stoned Vibes eyeshadow palette. Guys, check out this packaging. What? It's so shiny, so colorful. Put on your sunglasses, I forgot to warn you. I'm a simple human, I see something shiny, I want it. I wanna have it. This eyeshadow palette is a little bit more heavy than what I expected. You can use it to build muscle. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not actually that heavy, but it's a little bit more heavy than a usual eyeshadow palette with what? 12 eyeshadows inside. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I already have my eyebrows on, so now I'm applying some concealer all over my eyelid. From the lash line all the way up to my brow. Try not to get concealer on my brow. You can also use your eyeshadow primer. I like using concealer instead of eyeshadow primer. I feel like it just works better for me. I'll just go over it with my sponge to get rid of the excess product and smooth everything out. You can also use your fingers to apply it. It's not that big of a deal. You just want to have a very nice smooth canvas for your shadows, for your art. Okay, um, we had an incident. Everything is under control, I think. I hope my laptop slipped off the desk and fell on the floor. The sound when the laptop hit the floor, that's when my heart cracked. <laughs> but it's okay, it's working properly. So far, it's looking good. I think that it will leave, I hope. Please don't die. <laughs> Anyways, moving back to the makeup now, let's jump into those really, really pretty eyeshadows. I'm gonna start off with this round fluffy brush you just need a big fluffy brush for this and i'm gonna take the shade called good karma this first light matte shade i will apply this in my crease like this i know that you can't really tell that i'm applying it but i'm using it because i want to set my concealer in place if you use a brush similar to mine which looks like this this is a round blending brush. If your brush looks something like this, you want to take the next shade just on the corner of that brush. I'm going to show you. The next shade that I'm going to use is going to be this one here. So I'm going to take it just on the side of that brush. I'm going to show it to you up close so that you can see. Come on camera, focus. Focus. <laughs> Good girl. So see, I have my eyeshadow only here at the side of the brush, at the edge. And now I'm gonna place this edge in my crease here. And by taking the eyeshadow like this and applying it like this, the brush will basically do all the work for me. The blending will be so much more easy this way. Oh no, I actually wanted to use some of this peachy shade here. That's okay, it's not that late. Let's take some of it. It's kind of matching with my nails. So this lighter shade, I basically have it all over my brush, okay? I can be a little bit more messy with it. The darker the color is that I'm using, the more precise I want to be with it. But this one is nice and light. It's very, very pretty peachy shade. So I'm going to add it in my crease. I'm not trying to be precise. It's okay if you bring it on your eyelid here. Just make sure that you don't bring it all the way up to your brow. Just keep it in the crease area. Awesome, now we're gonna do the same thing with that brown shade, taking it on the edge of that brush and I'm gonna now really build up that color. Now I'm switching to a big fluffy clean blending brush and I'll use it to diffuse everything out. So, there are four matte eyeshadows in this palette, right? We're gonna use all of them. Now I'm taking my flat eyeshadow brush, this is the Sigma E57, and I will take some of this darkest matte eyeshadow from the palette. It has a little bit purple hue to it, it's really hard to describe. Honestly, I don't think that it's as matte as I thought. I think it also has some sheen in it, but we'll see. So now that I have it on my brush, I'll also spray my brush with some setting spray. This will make the eyeshadow to really stick to my eyelid and come out very, very dark. And I'm applying it in the outer third of my eyelid. When you're applying this eyeshadow, try not to create very harsh lines, especially here where it meets 
the eyeshadows in the crease. Try to make the edges more soft here. Yeah, it's not 100% matte. It has some sheen in it. Okay, and I'm gonna just very gently diffuse the edges. Going over everything again with my big fluffy brush. This is my first time using this darker shade here. I was expecting it to be a little bit more dark. I was expecting it to be a little bit more pigmented. It's dark, but it's very sheer. I really need to layer a few layers and it also has some sheen in it. It's not what I want for my outer corner for this look. So I'm gonna take my Rust eyeshadow palette by Melt Cosmetics. That packaging is gorgeous. Brands are coming up with so nice packagings lately. I'm gonna take some of this shade and this one. These dark brown colors. Make sure that my brush is not loaded with ton of product. And I'm adding this in the outer corner again. Take your time with darker shades like this one. And try not to apply too much at once. You can apply a little bit, blend it out, apply some more if you feel that you need and blend out again. You don't need to apply a ton of eyeshadow at once and then try to blend it out. It's gonna be difficult. You don't want to make your life harder. I'm going over everything with my big blending brush again. Okay, going back to our Urban Decay palette, I'm gonna take some of the shade code Come on, stay open. I'm gonna take some of the shade called Good Karma. It's that same shade which I applied before all the other shades. This time I'm gonna use it on my brow bone to add some, some brightness there. Big blending brush again. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Which one do you like more? This eye or this one? I want you to be honest. I'm planning on hosting a shimmer party on my eyelids and I'm gonna use only one of them. I have eight of them. I'm not gonna limit myself by using only one or two. I'm gonna actually use three. But before that, let's add some glitter glue. Whoa, that's a lot. I always tend to apply way too much glitter glue. Okay, glitter glue is nice and tacky. I'm gonna take some of this shimmer. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and I'm gonna add this in the inner corner of my eyes. Really building it up. Next to it, I'm taking Tiger's Eye. Absolutely gorgeous! Very quickly, before that glitter glue dries out, I'm taking the shade Vibes and I'm adding it right next to Tiger's eye. Like this. Can you see the three shimmers? Ah, oh, they're so gorgeous! For the shimmers in the inner corner of my eye, I actually need to, to use a small tiny baby brush to apply them because I can't be very precise with my finger because it's way too large for this tiny area here. Make sure that you don't have a line like this between the matte color and the shimmer. Just take a blending brush and very gently diffuse it. It shouldn't be difficult to blend it out, but you definitely want to get rid of it. Next up, I'll go ahead and do my winged eyeliner. You can't really tell how many different colors of shimmers I have on my eyelids right now. It's crazy. I have gold, pink, blue, so many of them. Oh, I wanted to mention that the glitter glue is optional. You don't have to use glitter glue with these shimmers. Uh, okay, my camera hates me. We know that. It's a fact. It decided to cut off and stop recording. Okay, I should have predicted that because the card was full, but anyways, um, what I did is I actually curled my lashes and I started applying some mascara on my eyes. I mean, not on my eyes. Oh God, no. <laughs> on my lashes, you guys, not on my eyes. <laughs> that would have been so painful for my lashes today. I'm gonna use this pair here by, whoops, <laughs> did you see that? These are the iconic by House of Lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them on. I cut a huge chunk of my lashes. I have basically the one third of my lashes on my eyes now. I really wanted them to be just in the outer corner of my eyes so that they make my eyes look longer, they make them look bigger. And I think that I forgot to mention what um, eyeliner I used. I used the Huda Beauty Life Liner, but I didn't apply it with the applicator that it comes with. Because this applicator, it's, it's a little bit more thick. I can't really be precise with it. So instead, 
I used my brush, the Sigma E06. This is probably the best eyeliner brush out there. It's like a small angled brush, it's so tiny. Mine is really dirty right now, but I love it. This is my favorite eyeliner brush. By the way, my nails, look at my clothes. These are those stick-on nails. Is this how we call them? Yeah, it's just some plastic material that looks like a nail and you stick it on your finger and now it looks like you have longer nails. It's really weird to think of it this way. I haven't had my nails done in months. I don't remember the last time I had my nails done. It's been so long. But I love the stick-on nails. They're so convenient because once I get annoyed and bored having long nails, I just... Bye! It's so crazy how we invent things to stick on ourselves. Like, yeah, I have nails, but I'm gonna stick on this thing on my nails so that it looks like I have longer and more healthier nails. Although I already have nails, so I don't really need those. I get it, it's just for aesthetics, right? Aesthetics? I'm trying to sound smart and I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. Aesthetics. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, thank you, Google. Yeah, I don't know. We do weird stuff like this sometimes. We like sticking stuff on our bodies. And we like sticking stuff that we already have. Nails, lashes, hair. I mean, we clip the hair, but you know, it's kind of the same thing. Eyebrows. There are eyebrows extensions now. What? It's pretty cool though. I like that we have stuff like that. Because it kind of gives you freedom to do whatever you want. You want to have long nails? Boom. You have long nails. You can take them off anytime that you want. You want to have long lashes? Glow some foses, now you have long lashes. You wanna have blue hair? Boom, put on a blue wig. Now you have blue hair. <laughs> I like that freedom. And people that are more bold than me and more daring are definitely taking a lot more advantage um, of those things than me. I'm more basic. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to find my broom brush. Do you guys remember my broom brush? I used to use it all the time a few months ago. Broom brush, broom brush, broom brush. Where are you? Broom brush, broom brush, broom brush. Okay, I can't find my my favorite brush for cream contour, so I'm gonna use this one instead. BH Cosmetics number no. three brush. This brush came in a set, so I'm gonna take some of my Huda Beauty contour in light. Oh, this brush is pretty good too. I'm using cream contour today. Cream contour is not my favorite. I like my contour in a powder form, but I'm using a cream one today because, okay, it's gonna be really crazy what I'm gonna say, and you probably won't believe me, but I run out of all of my powder contours. I had my Kevnak one sculpting powder. I used all of it, and um, I also really liked the contours in that Too Faced Coco Contour palette, and I used them all. I have some crumps from them because you know when you hit a pan the contour kind of starts it starts breaking so yeah i have only some crumbs of powder highlighter nope powder contour but i ordered some new ones and i'm really excited for them to arrive <laughs> it's fine it's my powder this is the becca under eye brightening corrector this is very 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 creamy very kind of oily i only used it once but i want to use it again under my concealer so this is basically supposed to help your concealer cover the situation under the eyes i'm really scared that i will poke my eyes with these nails <laughs> i'm trying to be very very careful okay and then on top of it i'll go with some of my jouet concealer I'll also use some cream blush. I'll go with this one here by Morphe. I'll try to apply some of it. <laughs> I really hope that this is not too much. Uh, but I will try to apply some of it with my fingers and then take my sponge and kind of start blending it out. Whatever I have on my sponge, I will bring it on my nose. Just like this i will lightly powder my face with the rimmel stay matte powder i'm also bringing some of that powder under my eyes to set my concealer all right great 
awesome let's go back to the eyes and finish the eye look so i'm taking this sigma short shader brush this is the e20 it's a very very tiny little brush it's so adorable but i will use it to to take this peachy shade and some of the brown one down here and i will use it to smudge those colors under my lower lashes some highlighter whoa <laughs> oh yeah that's bright i'm using the benefit cookie highlighter it's in this palette right here a little bit in the inner corners of my eyes this brush is very big for the inner corners of my eyes but it's okay oh i got foundation on my clouds that's a sentence i never thought that i would say <laughs> it's a lot easier to clean them if you take them off i'll go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray so that i can tone down my highlighter and also lock everything in place while it's still wet i'm pressing my sponge on that highlighter and this will really tone it down and make it look a lot more natural next up i'll go ahead and line my lips i'm using a lip pencil by the brand called motifs this shade is truffle for my lipstick today i'm gonna go with the sigma infinity point lipstick i think that they recently came up with these lipsticks the shade is very nice this shade was a little bit too dark for me so i added some lighter shade of lipstick just in the center of my lips i put my earrings back and they got dirty so quickly within two minutes they were covered in foundation so learn from my mistakes my friends if you decide to get earrings like this by the way i'm gonna have a link for those down in the description box they're so affordable you will scream when you see how affordable they are <laughs> what i was saying oh yeah if you decide to get earrings like this consider the fact that if you wear them with a full face of makeup some foundation might end on them but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you like the look i'm absolutely loving it i love the mixture of shimmers that i have on my eyes so many colors so many different sparkles i feel like each one of them is so unique i like that even though the shimmers are super colorful the whole look is very neutral and very wearable it's very glam but it's wearable it's a wearable glam you can't really see but i'm gonna have more close-up photos on my instagram you guys can go and follow me on there i usually post photos from my looks that i create i also do short makeup tutorials exclusively for my instagram so if you guys want to check them out you can go and follow me on there what else oh my second channel i'm so proud of it it's my little baby my second channel is a channel where i post food videos i was about to say cooking videos but i don't think that you can call that cooking i'm not trying to pretend that i know what i'm doing in the kitchen i don't and even if i was trying to pretend that i know you wouldn't believe me you guys i'm that much of a beginner <laughs> fake it till you make it it's not an option for me with cooking i'll have a link to my instagram facebook twitter and my second channel down in the description box you guys can also check out some of these videos here <sighs> Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!